After years of shooting things in space, Call of Duty World War II is taking us back to where it all began in an attempt to breathe fresh air into the series. There's been a bit of a backlash against Call of Duty in recent years as the shooter has moved from boots on the ground warfare to space, sci-fi and as it turns out worst of all, Kevin Spacey. So now we've gone back in time for this latest COD, both in story and, unfortunately, gameplay. If I have to wrap up this Call of Duty's campaign in one word, it would be obvious. If I think about what levels I would design if I was making a World War II shooter, they're all here. And that's not good because I'm not a game designer. I mean, you've got all your classics, right? The save your kid against your best judgment mission, the let's pretend to be a Nazi mission, the let's do the Normandy landing almost exactly the same as we did in Call of Duty 2. COD is known for its campaigns to be big, bombastic, over the top, memorable, and there's nothing memorable here. There's just no surprises. It's not that it's bad, it's just you've played this 10 times before. It's just never really looked this good. But the shooting still feels good and the game looks great, particularly the cutscenes. For me, COD has always had really chunky looking character design, but the motion capture in this one is just striking. And the sound design is wonderful as well. Hearing that ting every time I reload my rifle was literally my favorite part of the game. They've also removed COD's auto-regenerating health and they've gone back to using health packs. And this works because there's way more tension when you have one health pack, but like 20 Nazis. And also teammates can give you ammo and health packs and that sort of thing. But I still felt way more vulnerable than I did in other COD games. It's hard to review this game in a vacuum when the modern day shooter is just booming. I mean, Wolfenstein 2 is tackling the same subject matter, just with way more style. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds has changed what tension means in a multiplayer game. Overwatch is doing team-based shooting, but way more varied and accessible. And Battlefield 1 tackled the world wars with way more character and emotion. So without the big, memorable, bombastic, over-the-top campaign, what gap is Call of Duty filling? But I guess the campaign is only half the game. The other half is the multiplayer, and in the 14th installment of the Call of Duty franchise, it's pretty polished. It's killstreaks, prestige mode, and a seemingly endless amount of strangers who have all claimed to have fucked my mother. Not much has changed, and that's good! The game itself is great, the maps are varied and enjoyable, the gunplay is fun and rewarding, and the new war mode is genuinely a welcome addition to the usual suspects. The biggest issue right now are grenades. They're less hand grenades and more tactical nukes. And the BAR infantry rifle. It's so powerful right now, crazy powerful. I can't seem to make mistakes with it. I just keep having loads of happy little accidents. Despite these minor temporary issues, this Call of Duty's multiplayer is still a AAA title that handles like a dream. And the Nazi zombie mode is legitimately terrifying. This is mostly down to World War II's incredible audio visual design. It's like Clive Barker and H.R. Geiger had a mutant love child which then killed its parents and wore their flesh. Zombies is full of familiar gameplay elements with a star-studded cast where you shoot, shock, and shit your pants through endless waves of the undead Wehrmacht. Zombies is worth it alone to hear David Tennant scream, FUCK OFF YOU WE BASTARD! 30 times a game. Dead means dead, jack off shites. The most noticeable addition is the headquarters, Call of Duty's social hub. Think the tower from Destiny, but with more sand. Here you can watch your friends open loot boxes, and in fact, the game encourages you to watch other players do it. This ends up feeling like a really weird kid's birthday party, where everyone's dressed as soldiers, and you're watching one guy open gifts. The multiplayer is a classic COD that reminds me of the good old days, but it's wrapped in this uncomfortably modern, loot box-centric reward system that just feels dirty. It's like an old friend who's trying desperately hard to be trendy, and it just feels forced. Play this if you're a COD fan. You're probably playing right now, so send me an invite. Play this if you want to smash out a six hour campaign with good shooting that looks great, but just has no surprises. Call of Duty World War II's campaign is a very okay okay. Call of Duty World War II's multiplayer is a must play. 